Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and today I have another GFX video for you guys. I know it's been forever since I've made a GFX video. I have just been, I don't know, I've had no GFX ideas. It's been weird, but we're back <laughs> making another GFX video. So today I wanted to make sort of like an Easter themed GFX. We're kind of getting close to Easter, springtime. It's like next month. Though it is spring now, I think, or like tomorrow was the first day of spring, I think. So we're pretty close. We're making a spring GFX today. <laughs> so pretty much it is going to be like a character and she's going to have this really puffy skirt and bunny ears. It's a weird concept though. It'll look good in the end. Don't worry. Just stay tuned till the end so you can see the final product. But right now I am just setting up my character. I gave her this really cute wig I found on Roblox Studio and then just bunny ear accessories that I found. I think it was in the Roblox catalog. I can't quite remember. It actually might have been um, in the toolbox. So I'm not sure if they're actual hats or if they're just things that were in the toolbox. I'm not quite sure. But it's just kind of like a concept of like an Easter princess. I really, really like how it turned out. But I wanted to ask you guys if you have any GFX ideas that you guys would like to share. Let me know down in the comments below because I've been kind of out of ideas lately, which is kind of sad. I know you guys give me ideas all the time. But just sometimes I run out. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. And also soon I'm going to be making another like step-by-step -step GFX video like my blanket fort one. So if you have a GFX you would like to see a tutorial for step-by-step, -step, let me know in the comments below. So right now I am just kind of like posing the character and also setting up the skirt. I duplicated the skirt two times so there's three skirts so then it would look a lot bigger which was really nice. And also I am just fixing the hair a little bit or at least trying to. I don't know why I thought this would be the best way to fix it. I know I'm not very good at blender so please don't. Please don't let me know in the comments below, but um, I tried to add like a black plane to the hair to try and fill in that spot that wasn't colored. It didn't look good at all. It didn't work. I fixed it. Don't worry. It's not there in the end. <laughs> so right now I'm just setting up the camera and I'm actually stuck in between these two like um, angles that I think are really pretty. So what I ended up doing was I actually duplicated the character and added two characters. So then we could have one angle and then the other angle like in the background. See, this is a really weird GFX concept for me. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, kind of odd, but like I said, stay tuned till the end so you can see. Right now I'm trying another way to fix the hair, but also um, this didn't work, which is probably obvious for most people that use blender but for some reason I couldn't figure it out so I'm not very good with it <laughs> so I'm also adding in a little chicken so it'll look more Eastery because really the only thing that was Easter was like the bunny ears and I just I don't know I thought it wasn't Easter enough so I decided to add a little chick to really like put the emphasis on the Easter part more than like the princess part with this hair, like this wig I used, it's kind of weird. It didn't look right in textured mode. I'm not quite sure why. Again, not a blender expert here, but I'm just adding in an HDRI trying to make everything look correct. And that is pretty much all that I did in blender, I believe. We have a little bit more, but I'm kind of like testing out different HDRIs right now because um, I couldn't decide which one looked best. I tested like three different HDRIs and finally I picked one that I liked which was enjoyable um took that plane out of the hair because it looks weird obviously I don't know why I thought that would be right and here is the render All right, so now we are on to editing. And I decided to fix those weird pieces 
of the hair that are like missing in um, the editing program instead of Blender because fixing it in my editing program made more sense than Blender, I guess. Especially with the new editing program that I'm testing out. I'm testing out a new editing program called Affinity Photo. I have a free trial for 10 days, so I have to make as many GFX as I possibly can in the next 10 days um, to see if I like the program. But so far, it has been pretty good. If you guys have any tips for the program, let me know down in the comments below. You guys have been so nice giving me different tips and things on how to use the program, and I appreciate it so much. So. Like I said before, if you guys know how to use the program and have any GFX tips, let me know. Because it's kind of hard for me to figure out. <laughs> I had a couple of trial and error things, but finally I got everything working that I wanted to be working. Like right here where I was trying to rotate only the background layer and not the like layer on top, like the render. It wasn't working for me. Finally figured out how to do it after like forever, but finally. We got it, and I also like these different like adjustment layers. I think those are very, very cool. So, overall, this program is really good. If you want to check it out, you can look it up. Like I said, it's called Affinity Photo, and you can get a free trial. This sounds like an advertisement, but it's not. I just like to share what I do with you guys. <laughs> Alright, finally, here's where I figured out how to rotate the background. I was kind of messing around with the transform there a little bit, but Right here I finally figure out, oh, you need to select this instead of select the other thing. Yeah, I know. I just didn't know how to do it. And I also kind of brightened up the background a bit, made it more look like storm clouds. I kind of wanted it to be like a stormy looking background, but in the end I ended up also adding a lot of Easter colors, so like yellow, green, pink, blue, all those colors to give it more of an Easter happy sort of vibe, I guess would be the word. <laughs> and now right now I'm just looking through different particle overlays that I would like to add. This one didn't add nearly enough particles for me, which it probably should have been enough particles for me, but I ended up going crazy on the particles on this GFX, so you'll have to stay tuned till the end to see all of them. But I also decided to add in these pink ones, and I wanted them to be yellow, so I ended up adjusting the layer so they would be a pretty yellow color. But do you guys love particles as much as I do? Usually I try not to add a lot to my GFX because I feel like too much just looks crazy. So I kind of went crazy on the particles on this GFX though. <laughs> but that's all right. But yeah, just want to know your guys' opinion, what you think on particles, if you like to add them to your GFX, if you like to add a lot, if you only like to add a little. I'm just curious. That's the topic of the hour, I guess. <laughs> and then right now, I am erasing the particles over her face because that was just too many particles for me. So we're just doing that on both the front character and the background character so they look a little bit better. Again, this is a new editing program for me, so it's still kind of trial and error how to figure out like how everything works. Eventually, we got it figured out. But even with the background character, I think this GFX is super pretty. I really like the concept of having like a character in the front and a character in the back. Just thought it was super unique. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's a really weird concept, but I hope you guys like it. Right now, I think I am trying to add some freckles to her face, so I decided I wanted to add them instead of looking up an overlay. And I wanted to see if that was possible, which I'm very happy with my results. So pretty much I just took like a dark color and put dots all over around her face, more towards the center, but also some around. And then I blurred it out and I think it looked like freckles. So I'm very happy with how that looks. And I think I'm just testing out different layers and things. I'm going to be adding some lighting too because of course we need the lighting. And then this is where I got my idea to do like a lot more particles. So in a little bit, I will be adding even more particles to this GFX because they just look so good when I was adding in like the light at the top. So here I am adding in lots of different particles. It's kind of like that booky, booke effect. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Like the ones with all the different circles and things. Yeah, one of those. Um, <laughs> that's what they're called. And I tried to do sort of an effect like that. So I'm gonna blur it out and then kind of like change the layer um, setting, I guess, like the blend mode of the layer, and I think it looks super good. So this is my first Easter GFX of the year, and I think it is super cute. I really like this new editing program, so hopefully I can make a couple more GFX videos for you guys while I have it. 
So here is the finished product. I hope you guys like it. Like I said before, I think I went really crazy on the particles, but I think it looks super good, and I just love the little chick. He is adorable. But let me know what you guys think of this GFX concept down in the comments below. I also really like the character in the background, like I said before, and I kind of added depth of field to it, so she kind of looked far away. Overall, I just really like this GFX. But if you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a big thumbs up. And if you are new, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads from my channel. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.